Signalis and Encrypt Heads of Inc. for instant messaging, voice, and video calls. Instant messaging function includes sending text, voice notes, images, videos, and other files. Communication may be one-to-one -one between users or for group messaging. The application uses a centralized computing architecture and ICE cross-platform software. It is developed by the non-profit Signal Foundation and its subsidiary, Signal Messenger LLC. Signal's software is free and open source. Its mobile clients, desktop client, and server are all published under Thiepel 3.0 on Lilisense. The official Android app generally uses the proprietary Google Play services, although it is designed to work without them. Signal is also distributed for ASN desktop programs for Windows, MacOS, and Linux. Registration for desktop use requires an iOS or Android device operating system, Android 4.4 or later, iOS 12.2 or later, Windows 7 or later 64-bit, MacOS 10.10 or later 7, Linux distribution Spidistorrent 6. Signal uses mobile telephone numbers as an identifier for users. It secures all communications with end-to-end -end encryption. The client software includes mechanisms by which users can independently verify the identity of their contacts and the integrity of the data channel 2021. Phenon Profit Signal Foundation was launched in February 2018 with initial funding of $50 million from Brian Acton, until the feature was removed in 2023. The Android version was also optionally capable functioning as ANSMS app 2025. Signal allows users to make one-to-one -one and group one-one -one for voice and video 12 calls with up to 40 people on iOS, Android, and desktop. Calls are made over a Wi-Fi or data connection and with the exception of data FEs are free of charge, including long distance and international. Signal also allows users to send text messages, files, 14 voice notes, pictures, GIFs, 117 and video messages over a Wi-Fi or data connection to other Signal users on iOS, Android and a desktop program. The platform also supports group messaging. All communications between Signal users are automatically end-to-end -end encrypted the encryption Kaiser generated and stored on the phones, not on the servers. 118 to verify that a correspondent is really the person that they claim to be. Signal users can compare key fingerprints or scan QR codes. On Android, Users can opt into making Signal the default SMS or MS application, allowing them to send and receive unencrypted SIMS messages in addition to the standard end-to-end -end encrypted Signal messages. 64 users can then use the same application to communicate with contacts who do not have Signal. TextSecure allowed the user to set a passphrase that encrypted the local message database and the user's encryption keys. One-to-one -one this did not encrypt the user's contact database or message timestamps. One-to-one -one the signal applications on Android and iOS can be locked with the phone's PIN, passphrase, or biometric authentication. One-to-two the user can define a screen lock timeout interval providing an additional protection mechanism in case the phone is lost or stolen. Signal also allows users to set timers to messages. One, two, three after a specified time interval. The messages will be deleted from both the sender's and the receiver's devices. One to three the time interval can be between five seconds and one week long. One to three and the timer begins for each recipient once they have read their copy of the message. Signal also has the ability to schedule sending messages one to five to help improve users' security from curious people and provide more customization. Signal allows the user to change the app icon with different color themes as well as different names that mimic generic app names and icons. So that's it for the whole Signal Messenger. I hope you guys enjoyed. Do subscribe us for more excited news about tech.